Welcome to CityWise. I'm your host, Tiana Stevens. CityWise is produced by the City of Rochester to shine a spotlight on city living at its best. Its mission is to beautify the community through mural arts while providing employment and training opportunities to developing artists. The city's rock paint division is in its second season and they're coming to an R center near you. Brittany Williams is a lead artist with rock paint. Lisa Barker is the public art coordinator and Nzinga Muhammad is a youth artist in the program. Thank Thanks ladies for coming on today. Thanks for having us. Lisa, how did the rock paint division get started? Um, so I guess the, the easiest way to answer that, um, Sarah Rutherford is another local artist in Rochester and um, she had done a mural at the Edgerton Rec Center um, uh -huh. about two years ago. And um, you know the city, I think, was pretty impressed with everything that she brought to that, and mm -hmm. they sort of asked her to help create this mural arts program for, for youth to to work as youth artists themselves. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, Sarah brought uh, Justin, the other public art coordinator, and myself on as staff to kind of create this program from the ground up. Wonderful, and this is an employment program, is that right? Yep, so we have eight youth artists who work with us in after school employment uh, positions. Mm -hmm. And in Zynga, you're one of those youth artists, and yeah. you actually are the only returning student from last season, so you bring with you know a lot of knowledge. How did you first get interested in rock paint? I was actually introduced into rock paint division by one of Lisa's friends, who also worked in another program I was in. Um, rock music, yes. Yeah. Oh, okay, wonderful. And so yeah. he told me about the program, and help me, you know, spread the word around mm -hmm. to Lisa. So you have a music background and a, a background in art, is that right? Yes, I play okay. the violin. Wonderful. Um, Brittany, you're one of the lead artists in rock paint. What, is, what does that mean exactly? Um, the lead artist is basically the artist with the most experience um, dealing with the technique that we have. So me and uh, Justin Suarez, or Suarez, is the leading artist um, in the program, and we basically teach the kids our technique, whether mm -hmm. it's um, painting with acrylic, painting a portrait, or painting with animals, and you know, with Justin, he does the stencils, and he'll mm -hmm. show that technique. So depending on what uh, technique we're using, we'll have a lead artist, so for example, we'll do abstract and we'll bring in Nate Hodge and he's mm -hmm. the lead artist for that. And so that's basically what that is. So you mentioned a lot of technical things that um, obviously you don't start doing those things right away. How does mm -hmm. the program start You know, at the beginning of the season? What do you do first with the kids? Um, so we have a couple different, you know, sort of introductory activities and mm -hmm. things that we do. Um, we, we always start with sort of a brainstorming session okay. around our project's theme. Um, and then we have some sort of introductory um, group collaborative activities to kind of get the youth artists used to working together and sharing ideas and, you know, working um, uh, creatively and mm -hmm. cooperatively, you know. Um, we take them on mural tours to see other murals here in Rochester. Obviously, we have a lot, thanks to Wall Therapy and all of the other um, artists in Rochester. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, between all of those things, I think it lays a pretty good foundation mm -hmm. for um, starting to get more into, the, into it themselves. Sure. So many weeks are spent um, at the Market View Lodge um, before you head out into the R centers. Is that right? Yes. What happens when you are in the lodge brainstorming and um, working on the projects? Um, we, we do just that brainstorming, coming up with ideas, and um, we'll do a little exercise just, exercises just to get us ready mm -hmm. for our, our murals. So we'll do, um, you know, depending on what we're doing, like if we're doing abstract, we'll do a little exercise to get the, ki get the kids used to doing abstract mm -hmm. because it may be something that they're not used to doing. So we kind of just get them comfortable with doing that. Mm -hmm. um, and then we also put on panels us as leading artists will show the technique first and then have them go all the way with it just mm -hmm. to get them used to it because when we go out into the our centers that's where they're going to go out and take those techniques sure. on their own. And Zynga, um, when you started working um, in mural arts, what did you learn about that process that you didn't know before? Well first, I don't, my first technique is drawing. Before okay. the, uh, the Rock Paint Division program I didn't paint. Okay. So it was much, much different, right. especially painting murals. Uh-huh. I could barely paint 
on just an 8 by 11 piece of paper. So right. it's a huge, huge change. So how is that process from, you know, going from a, a piece of paper, a concept, to um, a, a huge canvas, a wall? What do you, how do you do that? How do you make that happen? Um, you, you pretty much just have to go into it. You know, I, I just started painting in 2015 and some months later I was asked to be a part of wall therapy and I didn't have experience doing walls at all and you know it's one of those things where you just have to say well am I for it or am I not <laughs> and then you just have to go right into it and mm -hmm. I think once you once you do that you're like okay this isn't that bad it's just a bigger surface so right. but you know like she said a lot of kids didn't have experience painting so it, mm -hmm. it is kind of intimidating to start something new but mm -hmm. once you get started on it, it's like, oh, okay, I can do this more often. Sure. How do you choose youth artists so you don't have to have um, a ton of experience painting? Yeah, I mean, we look for youth that have an, an interest, an interest. in okay. art, um, but you know, most most kids haven't had a ton of experience painting in high school. You know, mm -hmm. but we we just sort of recruit based on kids that are you know have some sort of an, a background or at least the interest in whether it's drawing or sketching or painting. Mm -hmm. um, and then you know, this year we we got a pretty wide. Um, selection of youth to interview. We interviewed um, almost 30 kids and wow. had to narrow it down to eight from that. So it mm -hmm. was definitely, um, there was a lot more interest this year in the right, second year. Right. It was great. And Zingo, what is uh, one of the favorite, your favorite projects that you worked on maybe last season and um, that you can go revisit and see, wow, I did that? Probably Campbell Street. Okay. Tell us about that project. So with Campbell Street, we had a lot of butterflies. I think mm -hmm. it was Campbell Street, we had a butterfly. Mm -hmm. A whole lot of butterflies, and we individually, as youth artists, we went and drew our butterflies. Mm -hmm. And it was just really cool to see like your piece up on the wall and everyone liked it. Mm -hmm. And I, that's not my favorite, I have more than one favorites. I can't choose, choose one. <laughs> so also the Flint Street one, okay. where I worked more on these pair of hands. Oh. And they were posted up on the, um, tell me if I'm, this is the wrong center. Tell me, oh, it's the right center. Yeah. Okay, so, and it was just really cool to see how it all worked together in one big piece. Mm -hmm. What so was the theme for last season? Um, growth is the theme for from last season and this year. Oh, okay. Yeah, we okay. sort of picked that because it is um, a broad enough theme that there's sure. so much you can do with it and Absolutely. it easily carried over from one year to the next. You know, mm -hmm. it's kind of nice to have that cohesive um, mm -hmm. theme running through all of the murals. Right. Yeah. And Zinga, when you're out at the R centers and the little kids um, see what you're doing, well, what kind of questions do they ask you? The first question they ask is, can I paint? Ah. And they might ask, they might ask, like, what are you doing? But it's always, can I paint too? Mm -hmm. I think it's just cool to see that they're inspired to do that also. Mm -hmm. And do you guys engage the children at the art centers in that way? Yeah. We do, yeah. We always try to run um, some sort of like a concurrent youth activity so that mm -hmm. the kids that are at the centers that are so curious about these like teenagers that are painting on their walls, you mm -hmm. know, have a chance to do something similar and participate themselves, you know. So like we will usually have one of our youth artists and um, usually me, I'll usually help with that as well, um, set up a table where they can, um, you know, like last year, as Nzinga said, there were a lot of butterflies mm -hmm. in the mural that we painted. So we had the kids at Campbell um, do like cut out butterflies that they could paint themselves and then we hung those all up to go along with the mural. Mm -hmm. um, so I think there's lots of ways that you can you know, tie in that enthusiasm sure. and that engagement. Sure, Brittany, yeah. do you have a favorite project that you've worked on? Um, I, was, I will say when I, when I first became the guest artist last year, I had to be Campbell. It was pretty much my first time working with kids and you know, giving them direction on how I do things and oh, you can work on this and that. And, and it was good to see that we combined basketball and flowers mm -hmm. together because you know that was the common you know theme like oh basketball basketball and all the kids came there it was just they were playing basketball and you know other kids they may not been into sports so mm -hmm. having bat about well, butterflies there as well kind of just brought it in together yeah it's so. a beautiful piece what have you learned as an artist throughout this process Ooh, um I think I learned patience Mm. pretty much um, you know as an artist you'll have your way of doing your your style of your work and you have this sort of pace that you go mm -hmm. and then with the kids you kind of have to be patient like and say all right this is their way you have to 
step back and let them do their own thing, mm -hmm. you know? And I think that that's helped me a lot with that. Um, yeah, it, it, if you would have asked me two years ago, would I want to work with children? And I would have said, oh, when I'm done, you know, when I'm done <laughs> and retired, later. I would have did it. But it came sooner, so mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I, I love it now. I, every, every time I see a kid um, wanting to paint, I, you know, I try to encourage them as much as I can. Mm -hmm. I think with, with Brittany too, you know, she's a coach as well and, you okay. know, has that, that okay. like basketball connection too. Right. And I feel like just her way of relating to the youth um, has, been, has been a real asset to the program through mm -hmm. that, yeah. for sure. Um, and Zinga, you had the chance to try a different type of artwork. You were a photographer behind the camera chronicling the rock, rock paint experience. What was that like? I felt like a professional, actually. It was really just fun to just get all these different angles of people painting. It was just really a cool experience, really. Mm -hmm. I noticed um, one of the members is a dog of oh. rock paint. <laughs> That's our Cooper visor. <laughs> Very fun. Um, in addition to these public art pieces, are, are the artists working on anything else? Um, so one one component that we've carried over from last year is having the youth work on a, a personal piece okay. as well, um, and that will be um, they will all be displayed in the final show that we do, um, which I think we'll talk about in a few minutes. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but um, maybe I don't know if Nzinga and Brittany want to talk a little bit more about the personal pieces and yeah, it, it kind of ties in with our our theme of growth mm -hmm. and. Um, with the individual piece, it's kind of like, what, what does growth mean to you? You know, we mm. know what growth means overall to everyone, but what does growth mean to you? And it can mean, mm -hmm. you know, different ways where it's you grew physically or mentally. Um, and we just put how we feel on the canvas, an eight, 18 by 24 canvas. And, you know, it gets the kids, you know, on their own conquest of what that means. Sure. So. And Zinga, do you want to give us a preview of what you're working on? Um, sure, in terms of my individual piece. Mm -hmm. So my individual piece, I'm doing two actually. Oh. But it, it, is, it ties in with growth. Um, it's, it's more of a mental, spiritual growth. Because mm -hmm. growth for me is more than, you know, vegetables in the ground. Mm -hmm. It's always just growing as a person. I'm sorry, Lisa. <laughs> so, as a person, um, just growing learning more, gaining more knowledge, gaining more inspiration from things. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's what I'm trying to portray Excellent. in my two pieces. And finally, um, May 12th for the closing ceremony, is that right? Yep. It's okay. uh, going to be at, right at our building, the Market View Lodge, Excellent. Um, 4 to 7, and it'll be a chance to see and everything that our youth invited. artists have been working on. Everybody is invited. Excellent. Please come. Um, you know, you. their personal pieces as well as our overall murals. Excellent. Thank you, ladies, so much for sharing. Be sure to check out Rock Paint on Instagram and follow their progress on their blog at rockpaintdivision.wordpress.com.